Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Leo three-month money and career prediction for the months of July, August, and September 2022. Leo, let's see what energies we have. We will start with July and we'll pull for each month. All signs are up for money and career for the month of June, if you want to check those out, as well as the preceding three-month prediction for April, May, June, if you're interested in taking a look at that. All right, let's get started. Leo, what energies do we have for the month of July 2022? Money and career, Leo, July 2022. Page of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful, new, exciting energy. You're, you're enthusiastic, you're enthusiastic. You are starting something. These are the budding creation, creative energies for this month of July. It seems like, it seems like you're excited. You're finding, you're finding, um, you're finding some energy to start new. It's refreshing and it's, um, it can be a budding career, a budding new job, or a budding too many cards, or a budding, um, business, something you want to start. Whatever it is, you're enthusiastic and it's beautiful, positive energies, refreshing Letting these refreshing energies in. Yes. Wow. And you go, oh, very interesting. You go from the Page of Wands within this month of July, from the Page of Wands to the Queen of Wands to the King of Wands. All beautiful, creative, um, creative building energies. Confident, inspiring. And, you know, the, 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 you don't have the night. But you have the page, which is learning new things, expanding your horizons, exploring new territories, and getting excited uh, about, you know, the, the, this new, it, 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 was like, it seems like it's a new career. It's something you're learning, you're exploring, and you're actually really excited about. Curious of the world. Curious of uh, this thing that you're doing that's sort of leading you on a different path. And the queen, you, the more you're, the more you're advancing forward, the the more uh, you're confident, inspired. You're getting more and more expired, expired, inspired. Apologies for that. And and uh, to end with the king of wands, which is bold and creative. So maybe you decide to go, for example, on a new path, on a new career in the month of July. You're getting inspired by something very specific, something you enjoy, something you're discovering and learning. It is new. It is new. So maybe you're going back to school for something or you're just discovered a new a new passion, a new career that you really want to explore, learn more about and build upon that. And it seems that in this month of July, you are doing all of it together. Um, discovering, inspired, creative, and making it happen. So opening those doors, discovering a new, a new talent, a new, um, a new arena of, of, um, career opportunities. And then once you choose what you want to do, um, like a new field, then you're all in learning and then building almost like opening up your business in a new field that you just discovered and learned all about, got all the information, all the logistics you need to make it happen. No, you know, networking, financing, making it all. It seems like you're all making, you're making it all happen. It's the beginnings starting your business, starting the project, starting the job right in the month of July, everything together. And, and it's bold. It's creative. So maybe you're creating a project. Maybe you're creating a business. Maybe you're creating a product um, and putting it out there. It is really about 
um, um, being um, excited, but also bold in your in your endeavors. Good for you, Leo. Good for you. This month of July is really, really interesting. And, and look at this. It's bringing you harmony, happiness. So whatever you're choosing, this new career or this new thing you're developing, it's almost like you're developing something, right, in the month of July. But it all happens. The, pro the progression in the month of July is absolutely amazing. You go from discovering and being curious on something to developing the whole thing by the end of the month. Basically, you know that you want to do this. So you're like you're opening up shop or you're starting it on YouTube or or you're you're going for that career or you're you're getting a job at the end of the month of July while, you know, you research in the beginning of the July what of the of July what the career or the job was all about. Good for you. Wow. Bold, bold um, moves and, and with a lot of confidence, a lot of inspiration. You're very inspired in the month of July and that brings you to a happy place. Well, why wouldn't it, right? You know, all this, yeah, a lot of creative energy and entrepreneurial, uh, entrepreneurial energy, hard to say, right it's it's really but the progression is fantastic in this month of july you go from the page to the king with a lot of joy and happiness along the way and it settles you in a beautiful place in a beautiful space in your path okay so let's see what happens in the month of august leo what is happening? So you created something. Oh, wow. Yes. And you are, you're leading for, for sure. You're leading and you're victorious over that. So it's, it's successful. It's really successful and it's boosting your confidence, boosting you. You're, you're trusting this path. Well, who wouldn't, right? It, you, you, you just almost like started this one, two, three. It's almost like Leo, I'm just going to take a YouTube example to make it, you know, clear. It's almost like you 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 open your YouTube channel, start a creative YouTube channel, whatever the theme is, and really it rises. It it becomes very important and you're very talented at what you do and it sort of rises very quickly, right? And it puts you in a really beautiful uh serene and happy place you and your family or whatever that represents for you. And in July, you feel boosted. Um, six of wands, uh, you feel celebrated, talented. People are enjoying what you're doing. You're rewarded for what you do. Um, it, it really feels like people trust you in this domain and you're very, very confident in your decision making, leading the way. So you are leading the path. If you've opened a business or started a business or beginning of something in this month of July, the month of August, you are the leader in whatever this is. And that is boosting boosting your, your morale. Good for you. Two of Cups. So you can be partnering with someone. Two of Cups. Um, Two of Cups is, um, so it can be a partner. It can be a, um, a, a financial partner. Doesn't have to be. Uh, it can be a new business partnership. But um, um, for me, the Two of Cups can also be to um, someone that inspires you, something that inspires you. Um uh, someone with whom you are on, you are focused with the same objectives, uh, powerful objectives, just emotionally connected. When I say emotionally, can be creative. Um, this is a person or a company or an idea, but it's more a company or a person. Okay, so um, in the month of August, maybe you're partnering up with someone on this business, on this um project, business, job, opportunity. You're creating something in the month of July for sure, from scratch. 
August, you're partnering up with someone almost, almost as if you're successful, you're starting to be successful with this project business, take it as it resonates. Um, and people are coming to you because of this success, because of your talent, people are praising your, um, your, your talents and, uh, you are starting to be a leader in your field. And so people want to partner up with you within this month of August. Let's pull some more cards. It's inspiring. It's really inspiring to know that you're boosted. You're, pro you're, you're really, um, marching forward on this business path, whatever it is, in a beautiful, beautiful way, uh, Leo. So August, let's see what happens with this partnership. And if it's not partnership, it's someone that, um, that really recognizes your talent and um, sort of um, believes in you and wants to help you or inspires you or mentors you. All right, let's see what happens in the month of August. Leo, August. Why is the Two of Cups here? Am I taking this one? Yes, okay, wow. And the world. So you're pulling it all together. So I feel like there's someone in the month of August or an entity can be a company, can be a, a group of people, um, it or you know, or someone that comes in to the picture, comes in to partner up with you or to help you financially to pull it all together. I love this because the world is that moment where you're really growing, that sense of achievement, that sense of you started this business, it's growing, you're feeling really confident, people trust you, people are seeing you being successful in this very recent endeavor, right? And sort of in the month of August, this entity, or this company, or this person comes in to partner up to maybe expand the business or develop it with you or find solutions to uh, develop it uh, maybe in an international way, uh, expand it, expand it to other countries or expand it just um, business-wise, finding ideas to develop the business in a bigger way, right? And so this is like a sense of a real, really true sense of accomplishment in this month of August. Wonderful. Yeah, I think, I feel like you're really at the right place. You're in the right spot. You're on the right path. You're, you're, you're really, not only you're inspired, but you're really growing, really, day by day, growing in this new path, growing in this new business that you just began in the month of July. So celebrate your success. Celebrate your success. Honor this achievement um, Leo, this is really the joy of having brought your goals to fruition. So maybe this is something that you had, um, thought about before the month of July, right? But you're, that it's really starting and inspiring and building upon in the month of July. And August is, you know, the additional help or, or finances. I don't see pentacles though. I really think it's more a business or a mentorship or someone coming in, partnering up that has that same vision that you have, that has that same focus, that same drive, but also maybe has experience within this, um, um, uh, business within this field and, and just, um, is helping you expand. And, um, it's, it's, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful completion knowing that potentially, right. You did have challenges along the way. So maybe it's something that you did, um, try before or something like that and now in the summer or this in July and August because it's not summer everywhere sorry um you're bringing it all together and it and and don't rush it it's you, you this 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 um 
month of August is really about accepting this new path, accepting this new beautiful energy and, and just letting go whatever other illusions you had, right? And, um, and just acknowledging your place within the world, your place within this situation, within this business. You created something, you're successful in something, and people are coming here to partner up with you, to help you bring it all together. Wow, that's, that's impressive, Leo. Very impressive. And, and this is really, yes, it's really acknowledging your place within the world you're, and, and that you're making a positive impact. In, in the world, in your community. So this is something, this is something very interesting. Let me know what you're, what you're projecting for the month of July. And also let me know where you're from, because I'm going to start asking that now. When you, when you uh, comment, of course, comment down below. Let me know what your journey is all about. Let me know what you're building. Um, and if you connect and enjoy with these readings, but also let me know what part of the world you're from. It's fascinating and very energizing to see that people are from the four corners of the world. It's very energizing. Let's see what we have for the month of September. So far, this was, this is pretty fantastic. All right. So we have a few ego situations in the month of September, five of, of swords. Not surprising because if you're building a business, if you're starting a business from scratch and it's starting to be successful and people are, you know, marching in to partner up with you and finance you or, or expand, you know, help you develop and expand the business in the world or in different ways or find ideas. Um, there is, there seems to be competition, five of swords, competition, pressure arises, um, you know, people are out, once you're successful, people are out, you know, um, the pressure's on, right, competition starts, and then ego marches in, obvi obviously, it doesn't mean it's you, Leo, but, but once there's success and recognized talent, then it becomes the battle of the egos, you know, that sort of enter the space. So competition there is in the month of September. Let's see what that brings. Competition begins. You need a, a rest. Okay, take a breather. Listen, if this is, oh, sorry. Let me just pull this up. If this is a business you started in July and it goes really quickly and people, you know, it's sort of, you know, sometimes it just takes off really quickly and then it's sort of a whirlwind and we have to take a breather because in the month of September, uh, things get really competitive and maybe you have to reassess. Maybe you have to make sure you have the right partners. Maybe you have to make sure you have the right finances or you could trust everybody along the way and just, you know, take a breather, take whatever, whatever it, you connect with to um, calm down, reassess, realign, reassess the situation, who you're working with, what this is all about, what your objectives are, what your, and, and, and understand why you're in this and understand what is good for you, right? And once you know what your objectives are, if there's ego involved or people pushing you around, telling you what to do, or, you know, uh, that's what it becomes when we're successful. That's what happens when people enter, you know, the picture and finance you or help you out or expand your business or believe in you. And, you know, uh, then it's not just you. It's a bunch of, you know, money and situations and competition and pressure. So take a breather, take a breather, whatever it means for you, you know, doing yoga, uh, meditating, out, you know, for walks, uh, uh, listening to music, reading, writing, journaling, or just sitting still. Sometimes it's just sitting still and assessing the situation, prioritizing, and making decisions upon. It feels like it goes, it's a rapid, it's rapid, it's, it's fast, it's quick. Queen of Pentacles, yes. 
money. So Queen of Pentacles can be you, Leo. Doesn't have to be. It can be you or the entity or someone, the entity or the people or the the, the company or whatever that's coming in. But I feel like it's successful because the Queen of Pentacles is about um, that wonderful energy, trusting that you're accomplishing this for the right reason, being comfortable in your in your choices and comfortable in um, in your energies. You know this is you. You know this is your bu your business. You know this is your budget. I was going to say buzz budget, right? So this is something that you're anchored in. You're anchored and trusting that you're accomplishing the right thing, that you're in the right space, that you're on the right path. Let's pull a few more cards on this. Because the situation is becoming a little um, tense, uh, pressured, because, you know, because maybe this business is now expanding and it's successful, you, but you, you, you still, you're trusting your energies. You know, you're in the right place. You know, you're on the right path. Just take it easy. Take a breather and assess, keep assessing step by step, keep assessing, assessing the situation, assessing the logistics you're working with and the people you're working with. Always, always realign yourself and assess. And if it takes a, mo a minute, it takes a minute and that's perfectly fine. All right, let's see if I can pull some more. Oh, okay, I'm keeping with this one. All right. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Hangman, take a step back. Take a step back. It's understanding that in the month of September, um, it's requiring you to um, understand, to reassess exactly when something goes very fast. That is really the way, the way it feels. Where in the month of September, because it went so fast, now you're you take a step back, and be patient. Don't rush anything. You're going to wait. You're going. Everything's in gestation now, right? And and you're understanding with your intuition that you have to pay attention. You have to wait. Maybe you're waiting for answers. Maybe you're waiting for more finances. It's almost as if this, so you create it in July, in August, you, and, and you're starting to make a buzz and be successful. And there are people are recognizing you for, you know, people are seeing you, right? You're out there in the world making a buzz. And in August, people are marching in and, uh, you, you know, to um, partner up with you, to make money, to expand your business, yada, yada, yada. And then in September, it feels like it's going too fast. Your intuition is kicking in where you understand that you have to take a breather, that you have to slow down and, 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 and wait wait for answers, wait to see how this is all going to pan out, or maybe, or maybe you're not going to partner up with these people. Maybe you understand that you have to take, you know, um, um, that things are developing and they must develop in due time. So you're waiting for things to develop and you're very aware of what is going on, which is a very good thing. So, um, in the month of September, having the hangman, don't push it. Don't push it. It went very fast. Don't keep pushing forward, you know, um, hoping, you know, for um, things to keep going really, really, really fast. Um, take a pause. Take a pause and reassess, right? This whole thing here. Is, and you're confident. You have the Queen of Pentacles. She's confident. She she's confident in her in her decisions. She's confident with, with where she stands. She's very successful, but and she's very trustworthy. So if that's you, Leo, you know you're on the right path. You just have to reassess and evaluate where you are, where you stand within this business, because something new 
is coming in. You're probably waiting for answers. You're probably waiting for money. You're probably waiting for something that was offered in the month of August. And the hangman invites you to pause and surrender to the situation, even if it's different, even if it's something you didn't think was going to happen or, or, or just at a slower pace, right? Since it all went very fast, maybe in the month of September, you know, you, you're waiting for info, you're waiting for finances, or you're waiting for that answer, right? And, and, but take time, take time out from the, from the speedy, uh, development of this whole thing. And then, um, but, um, and accept to let go if there's something to let go. Is there a disappointment there? I don't know, but it's not about you. It's about the entity coming in. So just beware, just beware. Um, just beware. Okay, so something's coming in and uh, it might not happen overnight. It goes so fast. You have this offer or this, this partnership here and it, it may be within the month of September. Like I said, it's not, you're not getting the answers right away or you're not getting the finances right away. So you're waiting. You're waiting for something new. You're waiting for that next wave to come in, that next wave of energies. And you're, but you're confident. You're still confident in what you're doing. This is the right path. Just take it, take it easy in the month of September. Let's see if there's one more card. Yes. Yes. So there's an offer there. There's a financial offer, but might be a toxic situation because we have the devil. Or maybe you are attracted to this whole energy that went so fast that you want the money in the month of September and maybe it's not going as fast, right? And maybe you feel stuck in a dynamic where, you know, this office sun is not going as fast as you thought. Interesting. You definitely get a financial offer, but just beware in the month of September that it might not be as fast as you think. Not that it's not happening, but maybe, maybe uh, it's time to reassess and reassess exactly who is partnered and who is within this, this um, whole endeavor, right? Just be careful. And, but it's all about being aware because it seems like it's a um, sort of ego battle within the month of September, but there is a financial offer there. Let's see if there's one last card. Okay. This is an interesting situation here, Leo. In the month of September, money and career. Why is the devil here? Too many cards, too many cards. That's a lot of cards. Why is the devil here for Leo? In the month of September, 2022. I think it's just being aware because if you're attracting, yes, you're, you're sort of stuck in the month of September um, where you, you don't know exactly, you know, where this is going to go and you're not sure follow your intuition follow your intuition and don't push don't push if you don't feel it's your it's your business it's your project it's your idea that has developed in a wonderful way if people are coming in and you're not trusting them or your intuition is telling you to take a take a break reassess then reassess in the month of september reassess don't trust if you don't feel it, right? If that intuition kicks in and you feel like these people or this entity is not for you, that's okay. Pass your way. Pass your way. All right. Let's see if there is one more card, one more message for the road in this three-month money and career prediction for the sign of Leo for July, August, September. Yes, marching forward. Okay, it's going to be action forward. 
it's going to be action forward. But the month of September is the one where you have to figure things out. Maybe you're changing partners. Maybe it, it, or maybe it's just not going as fast as it went in the two previous months. And now you're sort of stuck and like, oh my God, it's just, this went so fast. It was so successful. It's going so well. And then in the month of September, you know, it's taking longer. It's taking longer and maybe it does take time to put logistics together. Maybe it does take time to find finances or, you know, it's sort of stop and go, stop and go. And with a lot of ego involved because it seems like a really successful endeavor. So it's marching forward. It's action forward. It's just they're obstacles. It's just that, you know, you have to learn to trust people. And if you don't trust them, move move to trust worthy paths and uh but congratulations leo you are putting something out there that is wonderfully wonderfully successful so just beware in the month of september how it all pans out and if it doesn't move on to another solution thank you so much for watching leo this was a wonderful wonderful reading i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did again all signs are up for the month of June, money and career readings for the month of June, monthlies, if you're interested in taking a look at that. Um, and thank you to each and every one of you for subscribing, hit the bell, don't forget. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for that. Um, and uh, if, you, uh, if you are, someone that has just stumbled upon this reading like i'm stumbling upon my words um uh thank you thank you i hope you enjoyed it and uh i hope you come back again thank you so much for watching leo take care bye bye